Well, I have to say I had a great day yesterday uh, thrifting for my glass. This is my haul. I spent more than I normally do, um, but probably about $50 for all this. But it was senior day, and I got everything at 25% discount. Okay, so this is kind of a teaser of some things we're probably going to see soon. I got a, a nice vase there. This red one is clearly has been painted, I think, on the inside, but it is glass, and it's one of those that isn't the true tinted glass, but it has a painted surface. And I've got some candlesticks. Uh, this bowl, I just really think, a little gaudy on the bottom, but I think that's another one that could work in a, in a flower type thing. Uh, got some, so I've got some nice reds down here that uh, somewhere along the line will work. Every once in a while you'll see these decorative spheres. These are always great for the top of, not, not that I'm gonna do that, but that is kind of cool. Um, they're always good for the, the final top piece in something. Anyway, got those. Got some great punch bowls. So I can see some uh, fountains and whatnot uh, and, and bird feeder, well not bird feeder, bird baths and um, fountains for those. That's three of those that are good. This one might not make it for a, uh, a bowl of water, but it could be flipped over. It's a nice base. Um, this nice heavy um, vase, good, good base, either the way it is, I'm thinking maybe flipped over this one I didn't really need the shells and the stuff uh, that's inside of the decor items, but uh, I think that'll be good. That was uh, that was six the five oh nine. Okay, that's five bucks minus about a dollar and a quarter, so that was not bad at all. Um, but it's a kind of a tippy base, so it, again, it's probably going to be flipped over. A similar kind of urn here. Um, actually, I got this one a couple days prior, but it's this one's nice because it's got etched glass and it's kind of a smoky color. Otherwise, that'll be nice. That'll probably go this way uh, for something a little smaller. It's probably do the same thing. This is a heavy base here, although the pine, I mean the palm trees, will be upside down if I do it this way. Oh well. This one, I believe, is truly tinted get this out to show you when you look at the glass if the base see they gotta use my other hand if the base is clear but the sides are colored then you know it's not a true um, through and through glass color but that it's been painted in some way again this one would probably work well for something where maybe not that but something where it was on one of the flowers uh another base these little uh, cordial glasses or shot glasses we're also going to probably use for a topper somewhere um a couple more candle holders plates this is probably the depression glass i know i have friends who say oh no not depression glass that's so Good, but it's funny, you'll find those places sometimes that unfortunately people have broken up their sets and given away. But that's a nice kind of soft rose color that will work well. Uh, I love this star-shaped uh, piece, little candle votive, but that'll be good somewhere on a topper. Um, and of course I've ordered another, um, got another fountain and some mini lights. Um, and I decided it was time to get some, some more glass beads in different colors. So I do have some reds and sort of a bronze peachy color there. So they may come in handy. Uh, so we'll see what, what this all turns into. It's really kind of a teaser for what's coming up. I'm working on kind of a different project at the moment. So it may take me a while to get to some of this. Um, I'm putting new flooring in our 33 foot motorhome the carpeting was tearing up and so and I took up the tile and it's a interesting sticky mess but 
that's a different project and I'm videoing that one but for, that's more for the folks that pay attention to our uh, our motorhome travels around the country so anyway kind of a teaser for what's coming up um, stay tuned I appreciate everyone uh, I finally tried to see if I can get some credit for some of the ad revenue to help pay for some of my silicon and some of the glass and the lights and the fountain pumps um, it's not horrible but uh, be nice to at least get something back for all the troubles okay and I do apologize I have a messy workbench there's stuff all over um, in the background and I, it's just the way it is uh, it's the way I work this is probably 40 years worth of workbench here that I built uh, when we moved into this house so it's got a little bit of everything on it and plenty of tools and things so unfinished projects who knows hey thanks for tuning in hope you had a chance to look at some of my bread videos that it's another thing I do when I've got the time okay we'll see you when we get some more projects going